for many of us, this is the closest we'll ever get to a bilby. But while the chocolate version of this favourite little West Australian marsupial is pretty easy to track down, especially around Easter each year, in nature, the real life version of this guy is not so easy to find, which is why the destination that we're headed to today is vital for its future. Cavisham Wildlife Park, 30 minutes drive north of the Perth CBD, is a wildlife conservation powerhouse. And this year they've opened a brand new twilight enclosure and program as part of their push to preserve our unique Western Australian wildlife. The program is a, a joint venture between the ZAA and the Save the Bilby Fund. Here at the park, it, it gives us the chance to be able to breed a species that we've never bred before. It's not just bilbies the team is focusing on either. There are a number of animals only found in our state that Caversham plays an important role in preserving the futures of. It's very little. He is very little. This is Ernie. He is a brush-tailed betong, also commonly called a woily. Weighing just over a kilo, these guys are a bite-sized snack for feral cats and foxes, so unfortunately they are now critically endangered. So what are you doing to help with conservation? So our woilies here at the park are ambassador animals, so they're here for education so that we can teach people about predation by feral cats and foxes. And Caversham's conservation team is also excited about their work with the Western Grey Kangaroo, and this girl is quite a special West Aussie. Her name's Wednesday, she's a western grey kangaroo. Uh, now she was an orphan found on the roads uh, quite nearby to us in Whiteman Park. All of our kangaroos here have a similar story to Wednesday. They're hand raised and this allows us to, to get up close to them, allows visitors to touch them and feed them and you know get a, a better idea of the animals that are right on our doorstep but still we don't know that much about them. I don't know about you, but I've never actually seen a betong or a bilby in the wild, and it's certainly not through lack of trying. Aren't we lucky to have a place like Caversham, literally right on our doorsteps, where we can find out what needs to be done to conserve these beautiful creatures into the future. You've bought the chocolate, come see it in real life. Kids will love it. You can still eat the chocolate. Oh, gosh.